this pond is two years old. This is uh, July 20th of 22. I started this pond in March or April of 20, so it's two years old now. The first year I had some pretty bad algae and moss and stuff going on. Um, I fixed that with beneficial bacteria and it even got so bad at one point I totally drained everything out except for a little bit of water at the bottom and refilled it. However, now my maintenance schedule is like there's almost no maintenance at all. So at the beginning of the season, I put in some muck remover tablets. I think it's a different kind of beneficial bacteria that just breaks down the all the muck at the bottom of the, all the sludge at the bottom of the pond. Um, and that's all I've done to it as far as treating it for this year. And the water has stayed very clear. The only thing, sun's setting now, so it might be kind of hard to see. If you can see the, the algae that's growing on the side, that's totally normal. And in fact, that's a good thing because the goldfish feed on it. So that's actually an indicator of a, a good, healthy, functioning, I guess, ecosystem. The only algae that I have now that I, I do have to deal with this, but it's super easy. I get stringy algae over here in the stream. If you look at the green stuff there, that's what that is. But it's like spaghetti. It's really long and stringy and it's very easy to remove. So I just pick it out by hand. I've never used any chemicals on this thing at all. No chemicals because I'm afraid it's going to hurt the fish. And I don't think you need any chemicals. I'm on well water, so I don't have to worry about chlorine from city water or anything like that. Um, yeah, and the water is stays clear. I just I put in that sludge remover and that's it. As far as plants go, I think plants really help. Um, I've got the water hyacinth here. Those are reproducing. They will take over your pond. But they're deciduous. They die in the winter. You gotta buy new ones. And then um, water lily. This has really pretty purple leaves. The leaves are very small this year though. I guess because it's been so cool. And then I'm on my second batch of goldfish. I have two that are still left from the original batch that I got in 2020 and they are big and fat. I like them. These new guys, um, I swear they're three times the size that they were when I got them in, when did I get them? March or something? It was early spring and I have not fed them one single time this year. They eat the algae on the sides and I'm sure they eat bugs and other crap that falls into the pond and they're growing like weeds. My first batch did not grow this fast. So anyway, um, then I was at the lake today. I found these cattails. They were just floating at the top of the water. And this one is putting out like some kind of new little growth spear thing. So I'm gonna try to grow some cattails in here. And then across the pond over there, I've got that Pontederia delatata. That's a pickerel. Those are native all over the US. Even though to me, they look kind of exotic and nice. But the pond looks really good this year because I've got so much foliage hanging out over the top of it. Between the Persicaria, Trachycarpus, Elephant Ears. Um, yeah, it looks really natural when you got foliage hanging out over your pond. And it provides some shade. And shade helps also to reduce the growth of algae. And it also is probably good for the fish. Um, sun is good, but too much sun is never a good thing. So Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they could use more sun. I don't know. But they seem really healthy and happy, and I don't do anything except pick out the stringy moss and throw in some of those muck remover tabs. And that's it. And the pond is happy and healthy. And I like it a lot. And it's I think it's a very good thing to have in your garden.